Hello, Carl Baldessar here, and today we're going to have another classic rock riff review, and we're going right to the Bible of rock and roll. We're looking at the Beatles, and I'm going to give you seven of the hardest rocking Beatles guitar riffs of all time. So I've put these seven riffs in increasing rock intensity. Now, there's a lot of riffs you have to go through to pick which ones you want. You're going to probably have some ones that are left off. You can let me know in the comments what you think, but here we go. So for number seven, I've got the Happy Birthday riff from the White Album. It was recorded in 1968, and this is a little dominant seventh arpeggio with a little sixth added in, and it's basically a one, four, five progression, and it goes like this. <laughs> So for riff number six, we're going back to October of 1965, and this was recorded during the Rubber Soul sessions, but it wasn't on the album. It was actually released as a single in December of 1965, the classic Day Tripper. <laughs> So for riff number five, we have actually a series of arpeggios which are incredible, and this thing is extremely heavy. In fact, it's called I Want You, She's So Heavy, off the Abbey Road album released in 1969. Let's give this one a look. <laughs> So I have to comment for you know, us theory nerds, what's so great about this arpeggio, series of arpeggios, is that they have these common tones of D and F going through it. So if you listen to the high end, so I got the D and the F, and then D and F, and then D and F, and then D and F is still there, and then you finally get a little bit of relief when you do the last augmented chord. Ah, I got a C sharp, so it drops a half step. But I still have the F, so there's continuity. It's such a brilliantly written series of arpeggios. And oh, by the way, th this is an augmented chord, which you don't see very often in pop music. And again, for you theory people, we're using an augmented chord here as sort of a substitute for a dominant seven. And it turns us right around to the beginning. Just a brilliant progression and really rock and heavy. Okay, for riff number four, we're going to the Rubber Soul Sessions again. This song was released as a single in, in 1966, and it's the great paperback writer riff. <laughs> Counting down to riff number three, we're going to go to the Revolver album from 1966 and the opening track, Tax Man. Now this thing is a slamming great rock riff, and it also sort of addresses the point that a riff can be just a chord played over and over again with great groove, and this is the epitome of a great chord riff. <laughs> Tax man, he's coming for you. Okay, we're down to riff number two, the second to last hardest rock and riffs in the Beatles catalog, and it's Hey Bulldog off of the Yellow Submarine soundtrack from 1969. This thing is amazing with the little tritones and the chromatic moves on this blues scale. It is rocking and ripping. Let's go. Oh, my 
my gosh, <laughs> that is an incredible riff. Okay, last but not least, the number one hardest rockin' Beatles riff in their entire catalog, according to me, is Helter Skelter from the White Album, 1968. This thing is mind-bending. So there you have it, my seven hardest rockin' Beatles riff of all time. Please let me know in the comments if there's any riffs you'd like me to look at that are really hard rockin' in their catalog that I might have overlooked. Thank you again for watching. Please leave me comments, subscribe, share, and we'll see you again.